Good morning, everybody. We're fishing, finally. It's been a very weird winter. We got a lot of stuff happening within our calm before the storm crew. Sarah and I just got a puppy. Jordan and Lent had a baby. I got a job promotion. All really good things happening, but have severely cut into our ice time. Today, we got my brother-in-law and my father. My dad has never been down fishing with us. We usually go up to Northern Maine to fish the lakes that I grew up fishing. But we're gonna go to one of Brandon's little honey holes. We were here last year. If you guys want to check out that video, I'll link it below. Um, my first time really putting electronics to work for lake trout and it was an absolute blast. We were acting like 16 year old girls who were asked to prom. We were just freaking out, it was great. So we're gonna go back to Brandon's hump as we're kind of calling it and uh, try to get dad on some Lakers and let him use fish finders and just have fun. Sounds like we got some beers clanking in the background. So gonna be a good day, we're here pretty good time it's not a super long ride across the lake so we're excited and that is a nice bear that's a nice small mouth dude there he is I can see his breath mm -hmm. yeah. of rifle season, and I just got one. So we made it to where we want to be-ish. We're going to uh, kind of check the ice first. It's been a really weird winter with a lot of warm spells and we haven't got like any real deep freezes yet. So on a big deep lake like this, playing it safe, we're going to hook up some rope to the jet sled, pull it out. Once we've established that it is safe, we'll come back and get the sleds and be able to bounce around. But. I'm gonna have to film this guy, so you're gonna have to pull. Yep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might as well get a couple traps set, I guess. <laughs> so we got a couple traps in dad's getting brandon's stuff out and he's gonna put a trap in for him brandon's using his phone and his mapping that he did on his boat this year and uh, he's trying to pinpoint exact spots within this hump i think he's drilling one or two holes there so we can set a trap and then we can then start bouncing around with a jig rod so far we marked some perch in that first hole this one i didn't even drop the depth uh, the sonar down but we're fishing huh? ah. so I want to get into talking a little bit more about gear we're using on these trips we don't do that a whole lot we're not necessarily product pushers as far as you know that goes but there is some stuff we use that we really like these are tip-up traps a lot different than like you guys out in the Midwest would use these are a main made company Heritage ice traps are called. Um, these are the Lakers, kind of a, a bigger, taller trap. Um, and I love them. There's a couple main companies and they're both pretty good. Jack Traps is another one that's really good. I've never personally had Jack Traps or used them, so I can't vouch for them, but I know a lot of people that have them and really like them. So um, I don't think you can go wrong with either of those. Um, for Togue, I like these because I think for jack traps you can get a little more personalized and they have a lot more different sizes. Um, so if you're a trout fisherman you can get just little traps. If you fish out deep for lakers a lot you can get these bigger traps. But lake trout, they're pretty good travelers. They move a lot. Um, they will be at different depths depending on your bait fish. So I'm playing around that first one I set today. I have it three reels off bottom. This one I might go a little bit higher. Sometimes I'll even just throw dead bait directly on bottom, but um, to set the trap pretty easy, you use a little weight, just a big lead weight that clips onto your hook. I keep my finger tension up here on the, what actually sets the flag off so that the spool can't go. And then I just lightly go and let it spin all the way to bottom. Just a depth sounder basically. Once it hits bottom, I lock my flag in 
pull it out. And then, like I said, I'm gonna do seven wraps off bottom, which is gonna put it probably a foot and a half from bottom. Take it off and wait for our old daddy-o with the bait. So today I'm going to start out, I'm gonna start out with a gulp, just their regular minnow. I have their smelt as well. This is a watermelon pearl, this is a smelt. I'm gonna try the watermelon pearl, I've never tried that. I got a little uh, quarter ounce VMC moon eye jig, light wire. I got Jiffy jig rods right now, casking reel. This is a uh, Sharky 3, I think. But I, I, this is kind of a light, even though it's a medium heavy rod, still kind of a light action. That uh, VMC's got a nice light wire hook. I don't know if there's a flavor or scent difference with these or not, but. Just like that. We'll go bounce this around in their face and see if we can get one. Oh, today is turning into one of those days already. <laughs> we just started fishing. So far I haven't marked any fish, which isn't a problem. I mean, it's a problem, but it's not like the end of the world. We got three fish finders with us. Mine is the only one working. Brandon's connection where it hooks into the little clamp, <laughs> pulled out. Dad's got one that like hooks up to his cell phone and he can't get it to, to work properly. So we got one fish finder, three guys. We gotta share. This is what you learn at a young age, sharing. Going? Yeah. Nice. Taking some wine. Huh? It is, huh? I wonder if it's yeah. a salmon. It had that right on the ice. Yeah. Little one. one? Nope. No? One. I mean, it's not huge. That's nice. Feels pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he doesn't like this. The salmon. Nice salmon. What's that? Nice salmon. Is this? Yeah. Huh, we never fished for them here. No. <laughs> oh, nice salmon. Oh, yeah. That is a nice salmon. Boy, she doesn't want to come up. That's good. <laughs> she hooked good? Yeah. Oh, nice salmon, Dad. <laughs> that is nice. Wow. That's the best salmon I've ever seen you catch. I know he probably nice. isn't. Yeah. But... He's a stalker. Well, it was worth the trip down here, that's for sure. It's uh, salmon. We don't fish salmon that much, but uh, I do fish up on Long Lake every year, at least once. Uh, but that's getting close to a long lake type salmon right there. Nice hook jar on them. Beaut. Happy. Way to go. Hey. <laughs> yeah, if you want. It's not very big. Just hooked up on the first hog of the day, I believe. <laughs> I was not paying attention at all just as soon as I registered that I had a fish on the screen is when uh, when he bit so I had no time to get the camera on sorry about that I'm gonna let him run so that dad can get over here with the camera I had enough time to register that it was, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Crap. I was trying, I was going to start going for the camera and wasn't paying attention. Well, that's super frustrating. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is, but first fish I marked, I just, it was a hundred percent my fault completely got off focus on keeping tension on the fish, went to get the camera to like show dad how to turn it on again and all that. And just wasn't paying attention and lost him right at the hole. Didn't feel very big. If he was 18 inches, I would have been surprised. He made a couple runs, but it wasn't, wasn't anything crazy. But my fault, I was messing with my fish finder 
getting it all turned around and stuff. And I look up and I just see the start of his, because I'm in the 2D right now. I just see the start of his, uh, you know, his arc. And uh, he was on it before I could even get the GoPro registered. Like pretty much as soon as I was like, oh, that's a fish. It uh, hit. <laughs> a lake trout or a toad as the mainers call it. It's probably about 12 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> good good one for chowder. Yeah it's probably a three pounder. We're back at the sleds. Today was it was great fishing. Yeah it was great for him. <laughs> the guy who the fish. It was slow. Oh man it was slow. We only had Brandon marked like two fish on your fish finder. Yeah. Okay. I marked one, hooked them up, lost them at the hole. Um, Dad caught a nice togue and a nice salmon. So all in all, not a bad day. Fun, fun day out with the guys. And yeah, hopefully at some point this winter we'll get on a good bite with the jig rods and hook them up. But yeah, we're gonna uh, pack Dad's sled up, rearrange Brandon's sled, and uh, head home. Thanks for watching guys, we appreciate it, and we will see you on the next one. Nice, got it, got it, nailed it. <laughs>